bitter exchanges in the European Parliament, UKIP leader and Brexiteer Nigel Farage enjoying his moment in the spotlight. Isn't it funny? You know, when I came here 17 years ago and I said that I wanted to lead a campaign to get Britain to leave the European Union, you all laughed at me. Well, I have to say, you're not laughing now, are you? I'll make one prediction this morning. The United Kingdom will not be the last member state to leave the European Union. I'm really surprised that you are here. You are fighting for the exit. The British people voted in favour of the exit. Why are you here? But there was at least one Brexit fan in the Parliament. Et si, mes chers collègues. Dear colleagues, why are you getting so upset? Look how beautiful history is when liberty succeeds and the will of the people can move things forward. Britain's vote to leave the European Union has fired up populist Eurosceptic parties across the continent. There have been fresh calls to leave the bloc or its single currency in France, the Netherlands, Denmark, Sweden and Italy. But how deep does anti-Europe sentiment really run? A recent survey by Pew Research Centre carried out before the Brexit vote found that the British are not the only ones with doubts about the European Union. The EU's strongest backers are the Poles and the Hungarians, but in many other nations, support is tepid. Just 27% of the Greeks, 38% of the French and 47% of the Spanish view the EU favourably. But is the Union really going to see a mass exodus of its members? Austrian MEP Barbara Capel from the Europe of Nations and Freedom Group, headed by Marine Le Pen, thinks not. What well, we see now in the media coverage, what happened in the UK, with all of these problems, I mean, uh, maybe you might even uh, fall apart, which nobody hopes, of course, but there is a referendum uh, in, in, in Scotland, maybe planned, there is a potential referendum in Nor North Ireland. We see so many uh, problems that came out of this uh, votum that I think everybody uh, now uh, would say that internal reforms, common internal reforms are much better uh, than a referendum and to leave the European Union. It's too early to tell if Europe will see a Frexit in France, a Nexit in the Netherlands or an Oexit in Austria. But the British vote to leave the bloc is certainly putting Europe on edge. Kate Parkinson, CCTV, Brussels.